Hello again and welcome to episode 10 in our series about the energy retrofit of this old cottage next to the Greeny flat. In the last episode we showed how we converted this window here into a trom wall with the, the old chimney behind using the thermal mass of the chimney to store heat during the winter time. And we also mentioned how we were going to convert the rest of this wall into a solar air heating panel for the house. Now you're probably wondering why why we would need to use this wall as an air heating panel. So uh, in order to explain that, I, we'll go back over to the Greeny flat and show you what we did there. So we're looking here at the north wall of the Greeny flat and you can see that there are three of these large north facing windows. Each one of them is about three and a half square meters of glass and altogether they make up about 19% of the floor area of the Greeny flat. So there's about 11 square meters of glass and there's about 57 square meters of floor area in the flat. So it's about 19%. We're back to the north wall of the cottage now and you can see that there are six of these panes of glass, if you include the trom wall. Each one of them is about a square meter. So there's about six square meters of glass and the floor area of the cottage is about 135 square meters. So that means there's only about 4% of the floor area included as glass on the north wall of the cottage. So much less than the recommended 12 to 20% that you would like to have for passive solar design. So when we were designing the renovations of this cottage, we would have liked to have put more glass on this north wall but the council wouldn't allow us for various reasons and uh, so we're stuck with only a small amount of north facing glass. So one way to make up for that is to use the rest of this wall everywhere you see corrugated iron on this wall. We can use that as an air heating panel. In the winter time this corrugated iron on this wall will be in full sun and in summer it will be shaded by the eave overhang, by the, the roof overhang that you can see there. Now if you've watched the previous videos in this series you'll also know that we've, we've sealed this house much better than it was before. It used to have vents through the walls and uh, single glazed double hung windows that were pretty leaky and we've sealed up those vents, we've replaced all the windows, we've gone to some trouble to make this house quite a bit more airtight than it was before. So that means we also have to make sure that we have a supply of fresh air in the winter time so that uh, we can maintain a good indoor air quality when all the windows and doors are kept shut through the winter. Not a problem in the summer because uh, we open the house up at night to let it cool down, it gets plenty of fresh air. Uh, we keep it closed during the day but then open it up again the next night so the fresh air is not really an issue in the, in the summer time. So the Greeny flat is even more tightly air sealed than the old cottage and uh, so we made this experimental air heating panel uh, which is on the front north side of the Greeny flat. I've got it disconnected for the summer right now but uh, I might be able to show you, you, can, you might be able to tell it's an old solar water heating panel and underneath here there's put some holes in the bottom to let air come in at the bottom and then cut another hole up here to let air out at the top which is connected to this fan and, uh, and then we, we have it um, temporarily ducted across and in through the uh, sliding window next to it. So as I mentioned, I've got the solar air heater on the Greeny flat disconnected for the summer. But if you go to our website and scroll down to May 2015, then there are a couple of newsletter postings there that describe how we made that um, DIY solar air heater prototype and then it talks about what happened when we turned it on and you can see here that it was very successful in fact on this day when it was 12 degrees 12.7 degrees outside the heater was blowing 40 nearly 42 degrees into the house so it was really successful at bringing warm fresh air into the house that's why we decided to build the whole north wall into a, a larger version of this on the on the cottage. So hopefully that explains why we're building this solar air heating wall and next episode we'll show you how we put it together.